Next up here, the Maryland Terrapins in really good season for Maryland last year. We're back in the NCAA tournament for the fourth time in five years. Fifth youngest team in the nation and still not only made it to the tournament, but also won a game before bowing out and a lot back. They do lose Bruno Fernando, went in the second round of the NBA draft, but they have a unanimous all Big Ten pick back in Anthony Cowan and a lot of other key players from that young group. Very pleased to be joined by the head coach, Mark Tertian. We mentioned Anthony Cowan, Daryl Morsell as well. Guys, people are buzzing about Michigan State. There's no question that kind of when you get here, the first team on the tip of everyone's tongue is Michigan State. I would say Maryland is next, in my opinion, and everyone's saying this is a legitimate Final Four team. This is a team that, like Michigan State, if everything fell the right way, could win the national championship. So there's clearly a target on your back. I'd say you're one of the two teams that comes in with that. How do you feel about that when, when you know everyone's gunning for you? We love it. You know, we'd rather that than saying, I hope we make the NCAA tournament or, <laughs> you know, I hope we can win some games. Uh, we, we love it. We, we, we have a lot of talent. We have experience. Um, our guys like each other. I have an incredibly hardworking group. Uh, we had a great spring, summer, and early fall. So we're excited. We, we, we love the expectations, and uh, we know there's a target on our back, but, but we're ready for it. How do you look at it, Anthony? What's your point of view of, of being the hunted? Yeah, just like Coach said, um, we bring it in. Uh, we're excited for it. Uh, we, let our, we let our work do the, do the talking for the most part. Um, right now, we focused on this game better day in and day out. Daryl, how much do you talk about stuff like that internally? How much do you talk about winning a Big Ten championship or playing in the Final Four? Um, it's, it's most definitely a goal of ours, but our main focus is just to get better every day. Um, we focus on ourselves as a team. Uh, and we're locked in just improving every day and, and getting prepared for the season. So what are the biggest things that need to happen, in your opinion, to meet those expectations? Um, just got to come ready to practice every day, um, listen to Coach Turgeon, um, and, and just compete. That's really it. You guys were so young a year ago, Coach, and I know we talked about this a lot when I, when I called a few of your games. Uh, being a year older, how does that year of experience change the way that you can coach this team? Yeah, well, one, I was really proud of last year's team and what they were able to accomplish. But I think players improve the most from their freshman to their sophomore year to the end of it. And all our young guys really improved a, a lot. And then a guy like Anthony probably had his best summer, and he's had a lot of really good summers. Daryl Marcel's matured in his leadership and his comfort level of, of who he is, is is terrific. We're all about winning now. We were about surviving last year. Now we're about winning at a high level. And then we added some really good pieces. We have some really good young guys that are coming in that are, have given us toughness, have given us depth, have given us strength. So we, we feel like we have all the pieces to be successful. Anthony, you had an interesting role last year, kind of split time on and off the ball. How do you see it fitting together for you this year? Where, where do you see you spending the, the most amount of your time on the court? Yeah, um, maybe a little bit more on the ball this year, but at the end of the day, um, we just all gonna have five players on the court that's just ready to compete. Um, so a lot of times and with our offense, even in our defense, we really don't have a position. We just, we just plan and compete, and um, that's what makes us uh, the best to play at Merlin. Maybe that's a better question for you. How do you fit those pieces together? Yeah, well, um, Anthony and Eric are interchangeable. They've both improved so much. Um, we worked really hard on making guys better one-on-one -on -one basketball players, not only defensively but offensively, so our guys can score at a better level this year. Um, so they'll, they'll be interchangeable. Uh, like Daryl could play three or four spots for us. He's, he's very interchangeable too. So we have a lot of pieces, uh, which is good. You know, some nights somebody might not be playing well, but we have other people to put in. We didn't have that luxury last year. We were a very thin team, but we were, you know, we were tough enough to get things done. Daryl, how do you become more consistent offensively? Um, <laughs> all that is confidence. To stand in the gym, um, having great teammates like Anthony and all the other guys picking me up, and that's really all I could do. Just keep playing basketball. I've been doing this my whole life, so just keep playing, playing through your mistakes and stuff like that. I was watching you at your news conference earlier, and you informed everyone that Jalen Smith is no longer Sticks. He's <laughs> Logs. Yeah. Uh, of course, the nickname Sticks due to the thin legs. Uh, I get the sense he's going to be a, a physically different-looking player this year. Yeah, he's worked hard on it. He's really proud of himself. He never puts a shirt on anymore because uh, he thinks he looks so good. But uh, really proud of Jalen. 
It's given him more confidence, which he needs. There's a lot on his plate. I think he handles it great. Um, he's really worked hard. You know, he played one-on-one -on -one with Anthony a lot this summer. I think that was great for both of them. Uh, he learned how to use his length defensively. He's just so talented, and I think once we get going, you know, he's been able to show what this strength's going to do for him. Who is winning those one-on-one -on -one battles? We're going to keep that in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you see the greatest growth in him, spending all that time with him? Um, definitely, definitely on the lower block. Um, definitely just in the confidence in, in general. Um, I think when, he's, when he finally de he dedicated himself to the weight room, um, I think that showed that, that he can really bump with the bigs. And, um, and obviously, he always has an outside game. So um, now I think his game is really coming, coming all together. He was the headliner last year, Daryl, but there were so many good freshmen on your team last season. Outside of Jalen, who has taken the biggest step in the offseason? Um, Aaron Wiggins. Aaron Wiggins, he's changed his body a lot. Um, right now he's scoring the ball well from us. Uh, his confidence has skyrocketed, so he, he's been the biggest, had the biggest impact out of the other freshmen. Anthony, I know you went through the NBA process this offseason, got evaluated, decided to come back. What was the biggest thing you learned from going through that? Um, just a lot of, a lot of different things I need to change up. Um, not necessarily, well, not necessarily change up, but just get better at. Um, obviously, one of the biggest reasons I came back was just the team I'm, that I'm coming back to. Um, I think this team, the sky's the limit for this team. And like I said, I'm, I'm excited to get, get things going. I know one of the things that was an issue last year was turnovers. Yep. How do you cut down on them? Well... These two really have to grow in that aspect, and, and they really did late in the year. We started putting things in the summer before last year, and to be honest with you, it took a while to, for it to hit. I, I think they're both going to be uh, better with that. I think across the board we're better with that. Everything that we did in the spring, summer, and now fall was about turnovers, um, and I think it's really helped their mindset. And... I think we'll keep things a little bit more simple on offense because we have so many good players. Maybe by making it more simple, we'll be better with the basketball. I want to ask you about the freshmen. You have a really good class coming in. Give us a sense for who you think can contribute to this team right away. Well, they, they all can in their own way. Um, you know, Makai is a guy, one of the Mitchell twins. He's very skilled, knows how to play, smart player, tremendous passer, uh, surprisingly great athlete. Um, and he can really run the floor. And I think the guys really enjoy playing with him. His brother is, is, is a, almost a spitting image. It, you know, we, I finally asked him one to wear red shorts and one to wear black shorts so I could tell the difference <laughs> and, uh, until we start uh, practice. And then, um, uh, you know, Shoal, who had surgery, still wants to think he's going to play this year. He has a chance. And then Dante Scott is, is kind of like Daryl Marcel, but it's 6'7". He can do a lot of different things. He gives us great toughness. He really knows how to play. A, a above average passer, uh, sneaky passer, really has a good feel for the game. So all our new guys are very intelligent players, which has given us all confidence that they can help us. Mark Turgeon, Anthony Cowan, Daryl Morcell. Thanks, guys. Have a great year. Thanks, Dave. Yep, good to visit with you.